Hello everyone, Phoenix Knight here. Welcome to the channel, and welcome back to our playthrough of Mag 23 Guadalcanal from Historic Wings. We're on August 24th, 1942 today in this playthrough. Yesterday in the game, we ended up sitting tight trying to get the airstrip repaired at Henderson Field. The Japanese came over and thankfully didn't do too much. They did a little bit of damage, hurting a couple of our pilots and taking out a taking out an aircraft on us, losing, and we ended up losing on the day. But we're all set to get into this, into this one. We are starting off with a cruiser task force. So let's move over to the main game area and check everything out there. As you can see, I took the liberty of setting up the cruiser task force that we're starting with today because I wanted to make sure I got that set up so I didn't forget to start the day with it, the first, with the first mission on that. So I think everything looks pretty much good over here. Maybe a little, maybe straighten that out just a touch. We'll get a marker ready for that as well so I can follow that through. But I think we're all set here. So let's move into this mission and start rolling it up. As we're, when I say roll this mission up, I really mean at the start going straight to assign pilots and aircraft. Because if we know we've got the cruiser task force coming, then we are obviously going to skip right through the combat air patrol. Actually, the one thing we do need to do is the weather. So let me actually grab a die out here. Actually, I'm going get, to just get my dice all out. We'll roll for the weather to determine how much... I want to put up on this. Hopefully a fairly high roll. Oh great, it's light rain, a minus two weather mod. Not what I wanted to see with an opportunity to do some with an opportunity to do some damage. Hmm. Well, A minus two weather mod on week one, and the cruiser task force would just sit there if we choose to if we choose not to fly it. Um, hmm. do I want to? Well, want to? Yes, I want to fly this, but I don't want to fly it in the rain. I, I wanted to fly at the task force, but I don't want to fly at it in the rain. If that makes any sense. And ultimately, the cruiser task force won't come over. So I think we're going to let this one pass. As much as it pains me, I think the rain's going to let us, is going to make us basically sit this one out. So that'll bring us straight to the end of mission assessment. We'll see if we're tasked with an additional mission today. I wouldn't mind being tasked with another mission today just because we're going to have to let the cruiser task force go to, we're going to have to let the cruiser task force go because I don't want to risk flying in the rain, especially this early. But we have no additional mission tasks today, which is rather unfortunate because I really wanted to fly at, I really wanted to go after the task force, but nothing we can do there. Disease and infections up first. So we're straight into... We're straight into the end of mission details, so this is going to be a very short video. Alright, we have no infections. Next up we've got Pistol Pete Artillery. Unfortunately, we are sitting ducks to the Japanese on this one, but there's no help for that, I don't think. Alright, Pistol Pete Artillery gives us no hits, thankfully. Washing Machine Charlie. So we've got the bombing run coming over, hopefully with another high roll.
A four is high enough for no hits, thankfully. How about on night infiltration? Night infiltration, no, no attempt. That's welcome. Now we've got naval bombardment. This needs to be a six. I don't want to be dealing with another hit. Four is one hit. Hopefully that's not going to be too bad, though. Let's see what hit we get. Oh joy, fuel being reduced by, that'll be reduced by 1d6. <sighs> the last, the hit roll should have been the high roll, not the fuel. So we lose six barrels of fuel. Uh, that's on the 24th. Could have been worse. We could have had an aircraft flattened. Actually, that's 180, 6, 174. Okay, so we're on naval bombardment. We have to roll to see if we got a random event. A 1 to 2 says we do, 4 to 6 says no. We do have a random event today, I believe. Yes. Let's see what we get. And I believe that's a 2d6 roll for a random event. Let's see, that's an 8. Whoa, Japanese fighter escort disaster. Remove all Japanese fighters from next air mission. Okay. I'm just going to make a note in my log. Uh, remove Japanese fighters. Oh, wow. In the next air mission. Wow. That ended up being a pretty quiet day, but hopefully a useful one. I could do another mission here, but I like, I like the video structure I've got where I do one mission per, I do one day of missions per video. I think that just makes it easier to record. That way it's not quite so awkward in terms of getting multiple days in there. That way I can say, Okay, I've done this many videos, so it's this many missions into the campaign. It's mostly something I do for ease of recording, but that will do it for this admittedly short playthrough of Mag-23 Guadalcanal. I might come back to this a little bit later tonight, but I can't guarantee when that will be, because I'm going to be playing Twilight Imperium at my local game store later this afternoon, and that could be a potentially very long game, so I don't want to make any promises to that. What I will promise, though, is that tomorrow morning we're going to play The Hunters from Consum Press and GMT Games. And then I'm expecting to have the end of December recap tomorrow afternoon into the evening. So, yes, if you're planning on watching that, pop some popcorn and buckle up. It's going to be a long recap. But I will catch you guys in the next video. So thank you for watching this video. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Be sure to turn on notifications so you get my content. Be well. Stay safe. Take care of yourselves and your loved ones, and I'll be back with more videos in the future. Until then, take care everyone.